I, I would have loved to ask you another question, but so let us allow Senator Yolomi Shuri to come in here. Okmoimo, which uh, the tablet of knowledge, the uh, the device, the devices that are given to uh, students, uh, pupils in Oshun State, was celebrated by many when it was first introduced into Oshun State. However, many believe the project has not achieved its intended aim. What is your opinion on these? Do you support such a project? Well, well uh, thank you, Sheung. I want to go back to the fact that Osho State, as we stand today, lacks fiscal discipline and financially reckless. Maybe you can substantiate well, it. Just, it just he, said, he, he just, said he disagreed with you. Yeah, he just that. said it. So I'm just trying to, if I want to avow for my honor, a state with 82% budget deficit in 2018, with almost 100 billion debt portfolio in eight years, at a 2.7% loan deficit, and a forward deficit of 25 years. Either of 2040, ISPO. What are you calling it? Is that discipline? You, you want to contravene that? Well, I, I don't know where get his figures from. I don't, I don't want to. That's, those figures are not real. I don't, I don't want to. No, that, that's the truth. <laughs> are the <laughs> figures <laughs> incorrect or no, the premise of which he's getting his them. figures from? What I know is that our debt portfolio is about, right now, is about 141 billion. And that you are yet to that, pay? Wait, is it your uh, local debt payment that you're talking about or your foreign loans that you are, you're paying back? The bond and the commercial loan. The Sukuk, the bond? The Sukuk, the bond. And the Sukuk. And the Islamic loan yeah, that you took Shukuk also. The bond is, uh, is going to be exiting by 2020. The Fanila is 2019. It's a seven year. So, in any case, what is important is, what is important is, what is the basis, what is the application of these funds? If you now see the infrastructure renewal, where, where we, we have gotten the money from? Again, if you look at the volatility of exchange rate, if we do not start those projects at the time we did, we did not borrow at the time we did, thank God, Alaji Akimade confirmed the fact that he had to borrow to even build his own hotel. There's no, there's, no, there's no country in the world that will not borrow to do infrastructure. But the question they're asking is yes. whether or not you have the capacity to sustain yes. the repayment. The debt, the, debt, the debt to GDP ratio on the average is about 40%. As is still less than 6%. All so right, so if, if, you don't, if you don't have sustainability of our debt, no, 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 no bank will have borrowed us money. Banks are not charity organizations. We, 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 we met up, we met the, the, the requirements for loan, and that was what we were given. Okay. Senator Michel, maybe we should go back to the issue of education. Sheung, issue was he able to clear some doubts about... The issue is that, uh, I want to get it clear to everybody here. One, he's been only able to own up to 141 billion naira as debt, and that in loan, debentures, advances, etc. But the full loan of 25 years sign ahead, with interest rate comes about 67 billion. So add that to 141, that's 202 billion naira. Okay. Secondly, that's you okay. cannot borrow a, a short-term loan to fund a, a long-term business. We have multilateral institutions, we have bilateral institutions, we have uh, DFIs. What you want to as a, as a serious government, if you are not in a hurry to go ahead and procure loan, you go for these, these uh, options of multilateral, multilateral and uh, bilateral institutions. Who of us loans at single digits? Because of conditions precedent, because of procurement procedure, that they might not be able to obtain or to right. follow due to lack of fiscal discipline. Senator so, so, Mishore, so that we can move to the issue of education, which I asked you. Well, the, the, appointment. the appointment, I know it's, it's been on and on all this while. The crisis of our educational problem in this also state, that led us to a position of with appointment scam. I call it a scam. Why? Because there's no appointment anywhere in this state. And when you take a table for appointment like this, one, as an engineer, as a teacher, you can't teach mathematics without drawing. It's a gram or graph. There's no single one in the appointment. And I said, we corrected. When you open history, you'll be reading geography, the appointment. So the, the intent of appointment was not to educate, it's just to scam up. That's, that's the original intent of appointment. And that's the foundation of our debt in our society today. That is why I should have failing. Should you become governor, would you probe that? Okay, mom. Oh. <laughs> we, 
quickly, Senator Michel, because of our time. <coughs> well, uh, to put it, uh, to put it mildly, in a civilized uh, language, I will look into it. Okay. Uh, you, you, I, I saw that you were not quite comfortable with some of. Uh, well, um, is it true that there are no single appointment of those tablets, it, devices let, let in me, any of the schools? Let me say this: if there is no single appointment, how did you know there was no graph? <laughs> that's, that's the truth. So he confirmed there was appointment. As simple as that. He confirmed there is an appointment. Let. Appointment is tablet of knowledge. It's to expose puppies, particularly in SS1 to 3, to the use of technology. So, and it's, it's given out to these puppies free. Is it working? It's working. And it's working. That's the truth. Show, show, okay. please. It's working. Show, please. I will write to reply. It's working. Don't misquote me. I said that social go appointment is circulation. Is that true? Would you it, like to see the of now, the schools? They brought why, about a few hundred. Why don't you? At the lunch time. Home. Just a moment, Senator. Take let, your let, time, let him answer to take your, your question. Take your time, visit any of the schools and ask, particularly high school, if you don't have puppies with appointment. Do you have evidence That's to, the to, the, to, to the claim out. that there are no single That's appointment? To find out. Senator, if, if, if it's out. true whether, uh, that there are no appointment in the schools, well, uh, what are your claims? I have, I have pupils, students, that live with me, and I'm not saying anything play with them. So I don't know where they are. Maybe they are hidden, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe in government office or at the rugby G, I don't know. Okay then. Let me, let me, let me quickly yeah. ask, and I would like you to, to, a minute for the candidates to react to this. Uh, and this is very important. Uh, just like the, the state government spent a lot of money in building school. Uh, do you think building mega model schools is the best way to advance education in Oshun State? Or do you prefer focusing on rehabilitation of existi existing schools in more locations on a smaller individual scale? Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> when you talk of mega schools, honestly, they are not necessary in Oshun. Almost all our schools have more than enough classroom. I think the best thing that can happen to any of them is to rehabilitate them if you believe they are not good enough. But we are, talk, we, we, we are all crying here that we don't have money. And we are, we, we are demolishing already existing school to build mega school where nobody is... All, and even side by side, we are building a mega school here and leaving the existing one. It doesn't make any sense. Because... It's, it's a lot of money wasting. When you quantify or you ask for the cost of this and the, the, the level of suffering in the state, especially to the teachers and the operators of these uh, schools, honestly, you will discover that uh, it has no value. It has lost its value. Okay. Uh, Alaji Adioti, mega schools, what's your, what's your take on it? On this the area, beauty of mega this, schools, is that a, a good way to advance uh, education? In our There's nothing state. bad in it. There's nothing bad in it. But by the time, by the time I visited other states, I could realize that uh, instead of embarking on these uh, these uh, mega schools, we have to face ourselves and embark on the uh, renovation of schools. Because I was in Ekiti, Ekiti in 2013, <laughs> September 2013, to be precise. Oh. I met my colleague in Ekiti. He he, he gave me a compendium consisting of uh, the schools they renovated, they the, the old school and the new school. And in virtually all the schools, secondary school and, and uh, primary schools were renovated during the, during the first time of uh, Governor Fayemi. And that one helped him to stage a comeback in the last election that, uh, that was held in that state. I consider it as evident that instead, for now, we've had enough of these uh, mega schools we should embark on rehabilitation, rehabilitation of, the, of the schools in order to, to give the, the children their... Uh, uh, your time is up. Uh, I like you, Yotola. Your take on mega schools. Are you going to have a rethink? 
doing something well, differently. Let, let me say this. Like see mega school as um, the need to ensure that we have the best facilities for the children of the poor. Instead of uh, leaving the, the, the rich to send their evil children to, uh, for, for education abroad. Having said that, having said that, consider these ones as centers of excellence. What we're going to be doing, and we have started that anyway, is to renovate those other schools. When it comes to renovation, some schools cannot be renovated. You need to build new ones, not on the scale of the mega school, but they serve different purposes. This, I think we have about 11 of them. Consider them as centers of excellence. And by the time you see the product of those schools coming out, you see the investment that we're putting into, into education. Mm. Would you be returning some of these schools to their original owners? Well, you see, that, that's, that's an issue that needs a careful consideration. It's not something one can just wake up and say yes or no. It's, it's something that has to be properly considered as a matter of policy. You need to look at it critically. It's not enough for you to just wake up and say, I will do this, I will do that. You must plan. You must find out precisely what is the basis of even the school being taken over in the first instance. So when we get there, we look at it. Okay. I, can't, I can't say anything. What about regularizing the school system? Ocean State operates a totally different kind of system from all of the 36 states of the Federation. Even UNESCO acknowledges the fact that that is the best way to go. And that, that's the truth. UNESCO acknowledges the fact that that is the best way to go. Okay. It does not change the curriculum anyway. Yes. Let, let me allow Senator Mishiri to come in here. Mega schools, your take on it? What is, what is a school? <laughs> a school where you have to have in, come into a joint position? What you have in Australia states where are just mega buildings, so fortunately. A school must have teachers, science lab, equipment lab, and then car lab. Yeah. These schools lack all these all those. No, that's not correct. Schools without teaching. Please go so ahead. What I'm saying is that uh, how do you classify a school? The, 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 the external examinations determine the quality of any school. When, when, when you are examining, you, 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 are, you are coming to a ninth position in your exams. By 2010, or she was fourth position. They came mega schools, they went to 29th position. Is that school? That's not school. The only way to know a good school is the result of external examinations. Either why Neko or Cambridge. Would you, quickly, would you regularize the system? Of, of, of course, of course. We have failed. This, one, this thing has failed already. I've been issue. Okay. We, we go back to 634. Okay. Because why and Neko will not change because of those states. All right. So I, I, don't, know, I don't know where you get that UNESCO from that you're making it for to 29 position. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of UNESCO, oh, UNESCO is that? Senator Mishore. So UNESCO will come from, from Paris to come and tell us what's happening in the state. Okay, we, we, we need to go for another break. And when we come back, there is another very interesting part of this conversation. And when we return, we'll talk about it. Join us again. <laughs>